the, the first thing to say is it's, it's hardly a secret to say that the majority of Whitehall was not exactly enthusiastically pro-leave. Yeah? Uh, in fact, you can probably count on the fingers of no hands the number of permanent secretaries that voted to leave. The constant refrain throughout the time, my time in government was this atmosphere of reluctance to leave. They thought the best interest of the country was to stay in. So, so they, you got that for a start off. They cannot face up to enthusiastically delivering the mandate that they have. And that has meant our entire negotiation has been fearful, conducted in a posture of supplication. The entire approach is suffused by a reluctance to deliver what the public wanted, which is us controlling our laws in our parliament with all that that means. And the result is we have ended up with what I would describe as a Remainers Brexit. And that's the problem, you know, that focusing on what they think matters about Brexit rather than what motivated 17 and a half million people. The straw that broke the camel's back for me was the final iteration of the Northern Irish backstop. And I considered it a betrayal. The clear and unequivocal promises by the government in manifestos and on the floor of the House and in speeches and in policy documents was that we would be able to leave the EU's customs union, leave the EU single market and bring an end to free movement of people. The licence that Number 10 gave to the civil servant team and the extent to which that was exercised without the meaningful ministerial accountability that um, I think that a Secretary of State assigned to DEXU uh, should have been exercising was the problem. And we were regularly overruled. So, for example, after President Tusk made his offer of security cooperation, participation in institutions of research, innovation, education and culture, he also offered an advance free trade agreement. Once he'd made that offer, I was very pleased because it matched the policy which DEXU ministers had decided and I wanted to start putting it in my speeches. And one speech in particular, I remember, was edited by number 10 to remove references to that offer.